WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. We're looking at the Dow 224 at 37,312. Dow almost 500 points yesterday. See the big red candle. Is this kind of a warning or is it just a breather before it goes higher? Today's close and tomorrow's close for this weekly chart is going to give us a lot of clues. As it says right now, here's the 10 minute chart. There was a, uh, a move yesterday to a PD, then a sharp move. And you can see the 9 period moving average is still positive. So, what you want to see is for the by later today, the Dow needs to get to the 270 plus 270 area and then hold really well into the close. That says, yep, we should push a little higher. If it fails and it's only up about 90 points by the end of the day, not good. So far, I'm seeing some buying come in. You're looking at the S&P. Here we go, the S&P. Yeah. <clears throat> Making a potential peak D in the daily chart, the 4731, up 33. Huge move down right to the 9 period moving average. But the 9 and 14 period moving average are still really strong. Uh, so that says that there's still buying coming in. QQQ, NDX 100, the same sort of thing. QQQ is trading right now at... Uh, 405.85 of 274. Ah, they're all doing the same kind of thing. And by the end of the day, or by tomorrow, if it starts to close to, to trade under 402, that's a problem. If it can actually get today's high is 407, if it can get to 408, but later today, that's going to be a good move. IWM, Russell 2000 is doing quite nicely. It's up 239. <clears throat> At 198, we're going to be seeing whether or not next week there are higher highs in the IWM as the small caps, the Russell 2000, come alive. So far, they've had a really good uh, month and a half. We'll see if that can be maintained. Now, what we're looking at is the gold. Uh, gold was up earlier. It's still up. It's up about six points. Just sideways action, not breaking down, not doing anything. It's a little surprising since the dollar is taking a dive. Look at this. Uh, down 0.50 at 101.96. And bonds, the U.S. bonds, trading uh, down 3.30 seconds, kind of stalling here. So yields are still down the lower end, and that should help the market. The crude oil um, is up. Uh, let's see. It was up. Now it's down. It's down 56 cents and 73.66. Kind of stuck here. Uh, crude oil really needs to get to the 70. It's at 70. Threes. It needs to really very quickly. If it wants to have a big spike to the upside, it needs to need to, it needs to get to the 77s very quickly. So with that said, um, handing over to Steve Rhodes. This is a recording that he made earlier in the day at eight o'clock this morning, it's being replayed. And check out my opening call newsletter. But I also did a webinar last night. You might find it very interesting, picking out on the on what could work for the early 2024 period. Have a great day.